Hello, my name is Maria Schmitz. Today, we're here to talk about something that's not so new, but not so old either. There's a book called Mediation, the new Streitkultur. <laughs> Streitkultur will be discussed later, as it's one of the goals of this video. The many contributions by practitioners and well-known authors of mediation literature make it more of a treatise than a textbook or workbook is the comment of Amazon in the book called Mediation die neue Streitkultur, subtitled Cooperative Conflict Management in Practice. Mediation, according to the preface, is still in the process of conceptualizing itself as a new method of conflict resolution. The volume emphasizes a strongly growing importance and tries to answer basic questions. Based on the cognitive sciences, the mediator is said to be an emerging independent profession, which originally saw itself as the missing link between psychotherapist and lawyer, but is now increasingly trying to gain a foothold, not only in the private sphere, but also in the economic and political spheres. Mediation, which as an alternative conflict resolution process has long since outgrown its status as an American trend in German dispute culture, is also gaining popularity in society. Mediation is an effective and in many countries already institutionally established method of conflict resolution in private and public disputes. The practice-oriented contributions of leading representatives of this approach clarify the basic ideas of mediation such as problem solving in consensus by means of negotiation, conflict awareness on the basis of fairness and responsibility. Promotion of human social growth should be the guiding principles here and less warmongering. Whoever declines the opportunity to sit down at the negotiating table is certainly not acting in the interest of humanity, especially when it comes to averting a war. One objective today is to closely examine the German word Streitkultur, which to my mind already implies the rationality that is often ascribed to the German psyche and widely recognized as a core value. Silvia Schollmacher mentions that too in her book Die Deutsche wie Deutsche, and the cultural detective has it that that's a core value of the Germans. In English, we need five words to render this one word an atmosphere of constructive debate. Arguing until the sparks fly is rarely appropriate in a professional context. On the other hand, a good culture or atmosphere of constructive debate does not mean that you necessarily have to keep your own opinions to yourself. On the contrary, discussions and disagreements are welcome and promote the outcome of the conflict. A constructive culture of debate includes the following elements. Disagreement is seen as a normal everyday phenomenon. Disputes are regarded as something that is basically permissible. Disputes below a certain escalation level are treated differently than those beyond this escalation level. The discussion should not only deal with deficits, but also work out what is valuable and worth preserving about the respective conflict management in the company or in the relationship between several states. From the identification of change and preservation goals, a blueprint for the desired atmosphere of constructive debate can then be formulated. In this light, culture here comes close to cultivated. It is said that strangers to Germany are often puzzled by the fact that their German colleagues seem to have been quarreling and then go to lunch together. This bewilderment in turn underlines the fact that outsiders see disputes neither as desirable nor as cultivated. On rationality and objectivity, Germans tend to prefer facts to feelings in professional interactions. Tasks are completed and problems solved by gathering all the necessary data and then implementing a carefully thought out plan or solution. Clear, logical and rational arguments when expressed directly are preferred rather than intuitive emotion-based reasoning. Directness helps to support a rational and matter-of-fact style. A negative perception of this value 
as all values have the negative perceptions by people who don't share them, could be aloofness. Because it might appear in this culture that people tend to prefer getting the task done without first investing in building relationships with their counterparts, they might be perceived as distant and cold. A reasoning style based only on facts, figures, logic, and rational argument might be considered one-sided, narrow-minded, or even ineffective. So much for the negative perception of this otherwise rational and objective trait that is often needed in debates.